there's not much else to him. <laughs> he's just funny. Uh... Um, I think he's a pain in the ass. Okay, I'm joined by Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, how are you? I'm fine. Hello there. Hello, hello. Go check out uh, Mr. Chair's content. My content varies quite a bit. So yeah. far, it's only been gaming, but uh, I'm trying to branch out. That's why we're doing this video now. Exactly that, mate. Me too, me too. So we've got GTA characters. Now, we discussed doing just four and five, but have you played San Andreas? I have. I have played every single GTA, actually. Oh, fantastic. Back when uh, I was young. Young lad who should not have been able to touch G any GTA game for that matter. Uh, Poor parenting. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I was running over prostitutes at 12. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first up, we've got CJ. Actually, GTA San, San Andreas in itself is a bit overrated. People like... A lot of people like it, but um, it's not as good. It is a good game, but it's not as good as like any of the other GTA games. So for me, it's an A tier. Is that the game or him though? Would you put him at A as a character? The character itself is a B. I don't really like CJ as a character. Interesting. I quite liked his backstory and everything. Him as a person, yeah, you don't really get much from him, do you? Yeah, it's a gangbanger gone uh, businessman and back to gangbangers. Yeah, I agree. Well, I'd put the character at B. Yeah, same for me. Right. Do you know who this guy is? Brucey. Brucey. S tier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guy gone full steroids. It's oh, S tier. Yeah. S tier. Uh, yeah, and he's a just complete G. Uh, is he in 5 as well, isn't he? He's in GTA 5 online. Online. Not... Online. Man. Well, this guy. I'm a massive fan of Nico, personally. At least in my opinion, S tier. The character, yeah. the backstory, it's all interesting and honestly brutal and depressing at the same time. Sure, sure. And you get the sense that he's like... Um, he's a dark character and he portrays that in his dialogue unlike CJ who just seems to come out with a little bit stereotypical, you know what I mean? Yeah, she says that stereotypical ban gang banger saying the N word almost in every single sentence and uh, stuff like that. But uh, Nico, he's he's just trying to escape everything. You go on a real good, real journey with him. So I'll put him S. Do you agree? I agree with that one hundred percent. Come on then, right? Who have we got next? <laughs> it's everyone's favorite cousin, Roman Belly. Let's go bowling. Roman is fun funny there's not much else to him <laughs> he's just funny uh... um i think he's a pain in the ass he, he puts you through a lot of shit and always annoying you to go bowling when you've clearly got busier shit going on you've got I bigger fish to fry i especially like the part where we're driving a uh, a truck with a bomb in it and uh, roman success going drinking that's what i mean he always calls at the most uh yeah, but annoying for me, times. i'd say beat here as well yeah yeah I mean, he is. He's just the comic relief, I suppose. Mind you, there is that sick mission, and I think that's my favourite mission on 4, in the warehouse, when he gets kidnapped. That mission is amazing. Okay, now, this bitch, Michelle. She's also in GTA 5. The character, I never I never liked her as a character, yeah. so it's a D tier for me. Yeah, didn't you trust her from the start? No, I just felt bad for Nico. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. That's why she's D. She belongs to the streets, Mr. Chair. Exactly. Exactly that. She's a bitch. So, chop. Choppity chop chop. Chop in the tree. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's uh, A. I'd say A tier. A, yeah. Well, you can't really flesh him out too much. I even had, when it first came out, the chop app. Did you hear about this? You oh yeah, you can train Chop to yeah. uh not shit in yeah. the kennel and that. It yeah. would be an S tier, but Chop is not really a character. It's just a dog that likes to uh have sexual intercourse with <laughs> other male dogs. Yeah, he's a gay dog. Yeah, there's 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 not there's uh, nothing not wrong with that, that much else in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with that, of course. Right, Lamar. I think he's um not a very well thought out character, to be honest. I don't know about you. It's, I think it's C, I think C is safe to say. Yeah, I'd agree with that, I'd agree with that. Again, a little yeah. bit stereotypical, you know, not much to him. Trevor. Oh, where to begin? Trevor is best character in GTA 5, in my opinion. Well, yeah, yeah, he probably is the best character. Would you go as far to say he's the best ever character? Wouldn't go as far as to say he's the best ever character. I mean, Tommy Versetti is uh, a really good character from GTA Vice City. Probably mm -hmm. my favorite uh, game in the series as well. I don't think it's quite S tier, honestly. I think oh, it's yeah. more like A plus or S minus, but that's not the case. So, uh, 
GTA 5, it's not a really good game. Whoa, but Trevor, whoa, I didn't enjoy GTA 5's uh, <clears throat> story mode as, as much as the other ones. It seems more like a Michael Bay movie than anything else. Wow. Well, that's uh, an unpopular opinion, I'd say, wouldn't you? It is an unpopular opinion. I am uh, aware of that. It's not that I didn't enjoy GTA 5. I actually very much, very much did enjoy the game and the storyline. But uh, the game, it just doesn't feel like the same as any the, every other GTA game. Did you like online? I played GTA online maybe a bit too much. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you're a fan of that, just not the story mode. I'm surprised at that, to be honest. But I, I'll, I'll go with you and put Trevor on A for now. Franklin. Franklin. Basic GTA, which has basically been in every single GTA game. Uh, You start <laughs> with nothing, make your way to the top with yeah, Franklin. Yeah, he's, he's the... Uh, I think he's sort of the main character, in a way. He takes you into the world from nothing. Personally. I like Franklin, too. The character is fun. There's a lot going on, you know, you can tell. It, but he's sort of like the strong, silent type as well. But I think that sort of works. So I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to say A, personally. I'll let you have this one. A, a it is. Now, Michael, he, he sort of uh, takes you into a world of luxury. And he's funny, but he's so he's got so many problems to relate to family wise and stuff like that what do you think uh, michael is a character from gta 5 i have nothing else to say to that oh is that a straight d then not d michael is a good character i think it's safe to say it's also a pretty much every single character in gta 5 the main character every everyone is good in their self in so, their own way. Yeah, I un I'm just looking at this now, and I've got to say, I think Bruce has been put too higher up looking at this list <laughs> as a character. <laughs> um, I think Nico stands alone in S, personally. That might be true. I think uh, Bruce is more A, and I'm more happy with that. Yeah, that's fair. There's not much else to him. <laughs> he's just funny. Uh... Um, I think he's a pain in the ass. <laughs> 